We got the whole back on right now, so it's completely on to the frame of the bike, but now it's the battery. Now the battery doesn't fit in this regular tray that we have, so uh, we made this right here to go like that and make it so the battery isn't hitting the f frame because you don't want the to have it the battery be sitting on this ledge right here so we're going through the battery in through the box up there and we'll show you when we're done okay we got it all mounted we have i we took some uh plumber's tape and we went over the battery with it to screw it on that way it's all tight and secure we added some foam to protect the battery so you aren't smashing it with the plumber state the box i just threw up here there's two zip ties on it to hold in place to see it won't move anywhere and then just extra wires right here these two are the brake cables but that's only if you have a brake light which we do not so we don't really need those and the battery itself has a different cord for the charging port so we drilled out the old port and we hot glued the plug in there like that so when you open this up the new charging ports just right in there and so we'll finish throwing in all the skins throwing on all the skins and then we will show you the bike again okay we finally have it all back together and yeah, uh, we test the speed on it. The speed's about 23 miles per hour. Uh, we haven't ran it until it dies yet, so not unsure of how long it goes right now. But thank you guys for watching, and look forward to our next videos.